Warren Buffett, 10 books that made people hundreds of millions of dollars. In the video you are about to see, we will discuss 11 books Warren Buffett believes are essential for any investor to read. As a brief aside, did you guys know that Warren Buffett's full name is Warren Edward Buffett? We had been paying attention to him for some time and we only recently discovered his middle name. Leave a comment below if you did know what his middle name was. In any case, let's get back to the video. You might be wondering how we can be sure that Buffett has suggested every book on this list. Most of you probably already know this, but Buffett is a voracious reader. Reading takes up the majority 80% of his time each day. Therefore, whenever he comes across a remarkable book, he typically discusses it with his shareholders, either in his letters or at his annual meetings. So without further ado, let's understand what these novels are about. Fisher's Common Stocks and Uncommon Profits Philip Fisher is a respected and admired investor. His financial principles, introduced about 40 years ago, are studied and utilized by today's financiers and investors. His 1958 book, Common Stocks and Uncommon Profits, discusses networking and commercial contacts. Fisher suggested investing in businesses with growth orientation, strong profit margins, high return on capital, a dedication to R&D, a good sales organization, a leading industry position, and proprietary products or services. He was known for his thorough company research. Before buying stock, he depended on personal relationships, the business grapevine, and talk. Warren Buffett claimed Phil's techniques help investors make intelligent investing decisions. John Brooks' Business Adventures, 12 Wall Street Tales. Bill Gates asked Warren Buffett for his favorite business book after meeting him in 1991. Mr. Gates said Mr. Buffett didn't miss a beat when naming this 1960s New Yorker collection. The book provides intriguing descriptions of some of the largest firms of the mid-1900s that are just as important now for understanding corporate life. Wall Street stories are full of drama and adventure, revealing the world of finances machinations. John Brooks' astute reporting is so full of personality and critical information that it seems history repeats itself. Whether he's looking at the 1962 market crash, the failure of a brokerage firm, or American bankers' attempt to save the British pound. Where Are the Customers' Yachts? by Fred Schwed. This classic satirizes Wall Street with fun. The title derives from a visitor to New York who was told that the fine boats in the harbor belonged to Wall Street bankers. He questioned bankers' clientele where they stored their boats. The answer is no. Buffett termed it, he ever wrote the funniest book about investment that lightly communicates many generally significant messages. This book offers contrarian advice and an honest look at Wall Street where brokers become rich and customers go broke. An enjoyable, accessible book that will teach you about brokers and managers so you don't lose money. John Maynard King's Essays in Persuasion is a top 100 book. This volume contains King's public persuasion efforts from 1919 until 1940. King's predicted the economic swings that befell Europe and the U.S. with astonishing precision and advocated solutions that, if followed, may have prevented a worldwide slump. King's ideas on Soviet Russia, the fall of Leah's Fair, and economic growth are still relevant today. Buffett praised this collection of writings by a prominent economist for its ideas and clarity. Mr. King's is famed for his work as an economist, but he also thought about stock selection. Mr. Buffett says he's excellent at both. In 1989, he told Outstanding Investor Digest that reading King's would make investors smarter. We doubt most economists would agree. The Little Book of Common Sense Investing Jack Bogle, Vanguard's CEO, created the first index fund. His best-known book is The Little Book of Common Sense Investing. When everyone was trying to beat the market with fantastic stock choices and charging high fees, he thought, why not simply replicate the indices and not manage anything? This notion became one of the most popular investing strategies of the 20th century and one of the world's most recognized investment firms. The book introduces low-cost, passive index funds as a sustainable investment method to help you save for retirement without the usual stress of stock investing. He says you can't go wrong by picking the lowest index fund to invest in. Buffett says most investors should purchase low-cost index funds. 
Poor Charlie's Almanac, The Wit and Wisdom of Charles T. Munger, edited by Peter Kaufman. It's from Charles Munger, Berkshire Hathaway's vice president and Warren Buffett's closest associate. Mr. Buffett has credited his right-hand man with much of Berkshire's success, partly for rejecting some of his worst ideas. Mr. Munger has long warned about how investors may shoot themselves in the foot. This book traces Charlie's rise from a modest Omaha upbringing to financial prosperity. Midwest principles equipped him for an outstanding career. The book summarizes his life, decision-making, learning, and investment philosophy. It discusses his unique thinking and hard ethic, the keys to his success. Mungerisms. Charlie Unscripted contains his harsh statements from earlier West Co. Financial and Berkshire Hathaway annual meetings. This book comprises his remarks from the last 20 years. Reading Mr. Munger's experiences can help you improve your investing abilities and find better assets. Benjamin Graham's Intelligent Investor. If you're seeing this video, you've read this book. The Investment Bible, Buffett's first book. Warren Buffett claimed picking up this classic on value investing was one of his luckiest moments. Buffett attended Columbia to take lessons with Graham and then worked for him. Buffett often cites the book when questioned about his investment strategy. The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. The book covers value stock investment ideas. Many prominent investors praise the intelligent investor for helping them assess stock value and identifying winning companies. Graham outlines value investing in the intelligent investor. Value investing seeks inexpensive equities of long-term performing corporations. Value investing ignores market trends and daily stock fluctuations. Value investing thinks the market overreacts to short-term price swings without considering a company's long-term fundamentals. Worth investing assumes that if you know a stock's actual value, you can save money by buying it on sale. This book teaches beginners how to appraise the market and ignore trends. The most important thing, Uncommon Sense for the Thoughtful Investor by Howard Marks. Howard Marks, the most important thing is about investing. American investor and author Howard Stanley Marks. Oak Tree Capital Management is the world's biggest investor in distressed assets. The most important thing outlines financial secrets and perils that may damage wealth or careers. Marx teaches through example, charting the evolution of an investment philosophy that understands investing's intricacies and the financial world's risk. Marx presents a memoir or creed that brilliantly applies understanding to today's turbulent markets. Marx discusses second level thinking price or value, patient opportunism, and conservative investment. He delivers significant lessons for critical thinking, risk assessment, and investing strategy by honestly examining his own mistakes and failures. These qualities help locate a sound investment in today's post-pandemic global economy. The Thorndike's Outsiders The Outsiders by William Thorndike Jr. The Outsiders was number one on Warren Buffett's recommended reading list in the 2012 Berkshire Hathaway Annual Shareholder Letter. It examines the achievements of CEOs who adopted a completely different approach to business management. Will Thorndike evaluates the performance of corporations and their CEOs in this fascinating paradoxical book. Thorndike discusses eight individualistic CEOs whose businesses average returns beat the S&P 500 by 20. An investment of $10,000 with each of these CEOs would have been worth over $1.5 million after 25 years. The Washington Post company, Berkshire Hathaway, General Dynamics, and others are on this list. These outsiders ignored Wall Street, the press, and managerial trends. This book is a must-read to discover the attributes and tactics that enabled great leaders to achieve remarkable results. The Clash of the Cultures, Investment versus Speculation Investment versus Speculation, Buffett's 2012 letter mentions this book. John Bogle's book discusses the evolving mutual fund culture. Bogle provides 10 basic guidelines for common sense investment. Bogle says, it's not the greatest plan ever. There are endless worse strategies. Coria's Dream Big After Buffett's Recommendation, English copies of the book were sold everywhere. In this book, the author tells the tale of the Brazilian three behind 3G Capital, which controls 
Anheuser-Busch InBev and joins Berkshire to buy H.J. Heinz and Kraft Foods Group Incorporated. Berkshire's connections with 3G are new, although Buffett has known Jorge Paulo Lemon for years. Buffett stated, Jorge Paulo and his staff are among the world's top business people. His tale should inspire everyone as it does me. I hope you liked and learned something from today's video. If you want to keep improving and being inspired, subscribe and press the bell button to be alerted whenever we upload a video. This has been Market Profits Institute.